here comes another secret. For a while, I believed I was my own god. But if belief has anything to do with fact, I could not hold that position for long. What kind of god would come towering down because of a jet airplane? Wouldn't any god swat it from the sky or grab it with a fist or send it into a Peruvian forest? Yet I could not convince myself I had no god. Egotistical of me because I maintain the median based upon the omnipresence of tower mythology. You might not have noticed. Certainly you know my story and the story of the Tower of Babel. What else do you know? Why would you know? Why do I ask when I know you don't know? I shall tell you, towers predated Christ by some 200 years, so don't get uppity about that Tower of Babel. If you prefer your religion occult, the Tower card of the Tarot depicts its subject as being struck by a god's lightning. I would not like to think any god were against me. Still, it's hard not to believe that to be the case. Amongst the Greeks, Triton, son of Poseidon, pointed out the wind's direction atop the Greek Tower of Winds. The Muslims had their Alhambra Tower in Spain. It's also a street in Los Angeles. Pizzolines, I'm envious. The Tower of London made a prison of a palace. An example all spider monkeys follow. Then there's the Eiffel Tower, of course. Admirable, if only because it serves no purpose. And in 1982, Israel bombed Beirut Towers. The tall man would later say, as I watched the destroyed towers in Lebanon, it occurred to me to punish the unjust in the same way, to destroy towers in America so it could taste some of what we are tasting and to stop killing our children and women. Wait, not to worry. You fly safely and, I hope, in comfort. Everything will be all right. Of course, I may be lying.